slime and I bang it up. We banging a win up. It's red and we pour it up. My diamonds they glowing up. She waiting, she wanna fuck. Be patient, I'm counting up. All right, what is up, guys? I already so back here once again with a quick, quick, quick little review of this V-Loan shirt from Yes Kicks. Uh, not very happy about it, but I'll get into that in a bit. Um, if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see, I post lots of other actual quality videos on the channel, so check them out. And subscribe if you're new. If you're a current viewer of mine or a new one, drop a like on the video, to show some love, because um, I'm about to be real brutally honest in this next four or five minutes. So, um, and then last but not least, follow the Instagram at TV. If you haven't already done so, you can DM me. My DMs are always open. Um, if you have any questions that aren't stupid, because yes, stupid questions do exist, believe it or not. And also remember to turn on notifications for your boy if you fuck with me. Anyways, let's get into it. This took about a week, week and a half to get here with another pair of shoes. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, rip it apart. Came in a regular old V-Loan bag. Um, nothing crazy. Definitely not a top tier rep or UA product. So yeah. Um, and last but not least, actually, I don't condone any of this stuff being bought. I'm just showing you guys what I got for my money. So you do what you want with your money like I do with mine. Anyways, uh, the shirt was cheap. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. So I'm not too mad about it, but I'll just wear it around the house or whatever. Um, but the website is yeskicks.cn. Email is at right there. The WeChat is right there as well. And if you use the code RV stuff, you can save yourself $15 site-wide. So I did reactivate that recently. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's get into it. So, like I said, came in a regular old bag. It said V-Loan on it. Like the old font, like the staple font, V-Loan. Um, I just ordered this to try it out. Someone recommended me a V-Loan on their site. I might give it another chance and order like a hoodie this time around. Maybe the hoodies are better quality. But yeah, I'm not sure. First of all, first thing I noticed, the material does not feel like the top tier V-Loan stuff I'm used to. Um, kind of thin, kind of feels like designer clothing if anything so that's the first kind of like giveaway ish um this video is educational purposes actually more than my other videos are just because i don't really see flaws as heavy as i do in this one um next thing the print feels okay i don't know if i'd put it on to the same uh par as like high-end loan uh ua things but it is what it is so it feels okay probably gonna uh, crack in the wash after like a wash or two um but i'm not sure obviously i'm not really too concerned about the print quality actually i didn't even check if there's a tag or anything oh so they're doing proper tags actually now that i see it hold on let me get that in camera view so it says made in usa 100 cotton this might from what i remember my last v loan review i haven't really worn too much besides just regular plain black tees this might it, it may um, be wrong. I think it's supposed to be made in V loan, and then there is the USA tag. Typically, that says made in USA, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the size tag that says XL. So the tags look okay. Besides that, maybe one little flaw. Beyond that, another thing I noticed with the shirt it says dye V loan here. Just the overall uh, print is incorrect. Like it shouldn't be this white from what I've seen on pictures. Um, but yeah, it says Dye V-Loan there, so that text is technically correct. Then it says Dye V-Loan again. It's supposed to say Live V-Loan here. So when you wear it, it says Live V-Loan here, Dye V-Loan on the other side. So there's one thing. Um, besides that, everything else looks pretty decent, I think. And then the other thing is, you can see, if y'all can see that, it says Faux Giotto, not For Giotto. It's supposed to be a For Giotto collab, but it says Faux with an A there instead of an R. So that's the biggest thing and you'll see on the back. Um, but yeah, so anyways. Um, sorry, I'm just reading a text. I'm in the middle of do doing something. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the front side. For the tag, here's the tag. Size XL, made in V-Loan. This one says made in V-Loan, dry clean slash hang dry only, live V-Loan, die V-Loan. Should be an orange text. This is kind of like some brown, I don't even know type text. So again, 
pretty easy to call out. I've noticed with actual uh, ones that uh, start out orange, they may fade and turn like closer to brownish as you wash them and wear them in the sweat and stuff. But it should not be like that from the jump. So there's another thing. Um, this video is already getting to five minutes, so just try not to take too much longer. Let's look at the back. Uh, the V, as far as I looked, I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention. Um, while looking on, online, I just noticed the spelling mistake and I'm like, all right, let me actually like try to legit check this a little bit. Um, but the V looks pretty decent. There might, this might be incorrect, how there's just nothing here. I think there might, there might be bolts on the real one. So that's something that may be wrong. I'm not 100% sure on that. But the biggest thing on the back by far is as y'all can see here, it says Foji Auto with an A on it. So y'all have a good laugh at that because that shit is funny as hell, honestly, that they just, yeah. So, I mean, again, I might give it another shot and uh, order like a hoodie or something like that and see like it with something more simpler, like not a collab piece like this, but I just didn't have this shirt. So I wanted to try give it a shot and order this one. Um, so again, probably just going to wear it around the house or like when, if I start working out again, wear it as a workout shirt or whatever the case may be. But yeah, so like I was saying, before my uh, phone ran out of storage, I really got to get that shit fixed. I'm probably planning on getting an iPhone 12 uh, whenever they, they drop. So it'll be a higher gig model, obviously. But my phone's at the max capacity right now. Anyways, um, yeah, this will probably be like around the house shirt or at the gym or whatever, just because of the flaws being so obvious. But with all that being said, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, more heat on the way as per usual it's nice kind of to have like a little video where i nitpick shit because a lot of the time i'm just talking about the quality and quality tends to be on point um, but i don't necessarily go into full-fledged like oh this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong most of the shoes i get are pretty good unless they're or like are on point unless they're like an early batch type shoe and i just pulled the trigger way too early and there's a lot of flaws um, so that's just the way it is but i always keep it honest with y'all in every video so you don't got to worry about that with all that being said though guys like i said hope you enjoyed the video stay blessed stay safe if there's any new viewers that like what they see make sure to check out the other videos this isn't a ideal video to watch because i usually review good things um but yeah guys like i said stay safe stay blessed stay happy and i'll catch y'all in my next video peace